It was an absolute love-in at the MCG last Friday night. It's caused a lot of discussion, a lot of chat around. Were the pies actually too nice to Adam Trelaw in the weekend when he was in Bulldogs colours, Ed? So I want to ask you, how did you feel about Tyler Brown, his opponent, hugging Adam Trelaw in the pre-match? Well, I'm not big on hugging in the pre-match, but I don't like all that humpo-bumpo rubbish that goes on before either. I like the Lou Richards approach to it, where he said he had the, a duty of care to his opponent. He'd put iodine on his boots so when he kicked them, they wouldn't get tetanus. Um, I think that when the, when the ball bounces, that's when you go. You go hard and you give it to them. You shake hands before the game, you shake hands afterwards, and you get on with I it. I thought it was Were, they, too, were they too friendly during the game as well? Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, well, I think there was... The, the, I've got one. Put it this way. They don't, they, I hope there's no friendliness tomorrow night when we play Carlton. I, I think my view, if he had that emotion, that's yeah, okay. That but you got the, the test is, is that the best thing for the Collingwood team mm. that night? Does it affect the psyche? Does it make him more comfortable? That's the test. So everyone can have their opinion. My view is, save it for the end of the game, the hug, shake hands and get on yeah, with business. I'm big with him, especially when you lose. Send him a Christmas card. Don't stay out there all night hugging well, him. Well, what's the message you're sending when you hug someone? Yeah, well, yeah. It, why this tr triggers me is yeah, that Essendon... You've got Fantasia yeah, coming back to Bomberland, haven't you? We have. So yeah. uh, Essendon have lacked a, a ruthless edge for a long, long time. So Orazio Fantasia, his personality, he would love nothing more than his opponent to give him a hug. And he'd go... Oh. I reckon he'd take a, a big, deep breath and say, geez, that's the reaction I wanted. I think they have to give him no warmth whatsoever. So the whole six defenders walk down. Orazio would love nothing more than to shake their hands. He's that type of confidence player. I would do quite the opposite, Ed. Let's have a listen to him. I'm excited, definitely excited. Um, I'm sure I'll be nervous when it gets close to the game, but um, nothing but love for those guys. And it'll probably be weird um, running out against a few of them. And I'll probably, you know, be a bit cheeky and call out for the ball when, when they've got it or something like that and try to get into, into a few of their heads. But no, it should be fun. Psychologically, I would give him no warmth at all, Caro. And I know the days of defenders, they zone and they don't play. Arm across, hard, whack on Orazio yep. nice and early. And I think he could rattle the Orazio fan. Who, who do you put on him first? Uh, well, I'd love to see Heppel, but he's not quick enough for, um, obviously, Orazio. Redman's Aratio. aggressive. Redman, a um, bit slow, Jordan Ridley's the best and fairest yeah. winner. Who's, just, who's a bike down there who's renowned for being tough? Who's good with their hands? You'd put them on. Yeah, just well, get, get yeah, somebody right. Can I make a comment yeah. though? Like we said, we're making a decision. Is this good or is it? It was grand final day. Would you want him to hug him? No, no. So guess what? Every week's a grand final. Yeah. And if you don't play it like it's a grand final, you don't get to a yeah. grand final. That's the message to Callum Brown. And I, I, didn't see the, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. It was uh, Tyler Brown. I didn't realise that was Brown. before the game. I thought yeah. it was afterwards. Yeah. Is it before the game? Before the game. Ed. But that's the test. <laughs> that is he the clearly, test. I think we know now. He didn't like it. <laughs>